Hey Libra, it's about that time for your love reading. It's about that time. This reading is going to be for my Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Cross watchers, you are welcome to watch. But you know, I'd suggest you to watch your sign. The signs I have up so far is Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. And Virgo. Um, and now Libra is next. And after Libra, it will be Scorpio. Scorpio and Sagittarius will be next. If you want to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box and on my website. Make sure you use code LEO for 20% off readings. Use code LEO at checkout before September 1st for 20% off readings. This reading that I'm doing for you guys is already a service on my website. It's called Let's Chat About Love and in parentheses, it's involved. So I have two different ones. Let's Chat About Love Separated and Let's Chat About Love Involved. This is the involved version. So let's dive into it, y'all. Let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. Okay. So my Libras, I almost said Aries. You could be dealing with the Aries. Especially because the next question I was going to ask was, who is your love interest? So for some of y'all, they have Aries in their chart. But my Libras, who is their love interest? Who is this person that's on their mind? Who is this person that is thinking of them? need to pull three cards alrighty and the first card that came out is wands leo sagittarius aries energy this is somebody that you've been distant from where you feel like this person is emotionally distant when it comes to you either you guys are physically distant or there's an emotional disconnect between you two i feel like it's the emotional disconnect i feel like this person they aren't vulnerable i feel like they aren't um they aren't affectionate this person is very distant when it comes to their feelings. They tend to hide it. I feel like this person, they have a lot of feelings for you. They have strong feelings for you. But with this Seven of Swords, they don't show it. They, they lie about their feelings almost. Like they could be telling you, oh, I don't want a girlfriend. I don't want a boyfriend. Or, oh, I don't, I don't want to be with you like that. Or, you know, I like you, but I'm not in love with you. Whole time, they're lying about that. This person, their feelings is strong for you. It's something about their feelings that they're lying about. And it could be a third party, but I'm not getting that right now. I'm getting that this person, their feelings are stronger than what they're expressing or what they're showing to you. Let me get a backstory of this love connection, please. They could have um, fire sign placements or water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. The backstory, five of pentacles, seven of pentacles. This person be ghosting you? Well, I feel like this person be ghosting you. One minute they're investing into this connection and then the next minute it's like they're a ghost. It's like they're non-existent. It's like y'all was never dating or never talking. What the hell? They seem very distant. I'm telling you. They be ghosting you. Or like I said, it's just emotional distance. Hmm. All right, let's get into your energy, Libra. Let's see, what is my Libra's energy towards their love interest and the connection they share what is their energy we have the six of swords in reverse your energy you feel like y'all always on the outs with one another y'all always at odds it's like no matter how much love you give them how much attention for some of y'all you even try to buy this person love for some of y'all you even try to buy this person love letting them use your car car and card giving them money Helping them financially, helping them with their bills. Like for some of y'all, you try and buy this person love and it's still not enough. You give them unconditional love, it's still not enough. It's like you give so much of yourself and you feel like you still can't win their heart. You still can't win them. Aww. You better stop giving that person money for the ones that is. That's not going to resonate for everybody, but you better stop if you are doing that. That stupid shit. Don't be over here trying to buy somebody love. That's, that's a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for them to use you. We have understanding and deception. So yeah, you know this person is hiding their feelings. You know that. Deep down, you know that. Whether you know it for sure or it's your intuition and you have an idea. Either way it goes, you know that this person is hiding their feelings from you. You know they care about you. And I feel like that's why you do so much for this person. Because you expect them to finally give in to what they feel for you. And once again, they just haven't. 
Mm. What's the mutual energy between them? What's the mutual energy between them? One card at a time, please. Both of y'all are scared of being hurt. That's okay. Well, that's why they're sabotaging. It's not that there's somebody else in the picture. Both of y'all are afraid of being hurt. It's so much love. It's so much passion here. It's so much love. So much feelings. I feel like they fell for you almost instantly. Like they didn't expect to fall for you. For some of y'all, this connection was only supposed to be sex. For some of y'all, y'all started off as friends and then it progressed to something more. It's like the start of this connection wasn't really supposed to get to how they're feeling for you. In their mind, they're like, I was never supposed to fall in love. I was never supposed to want this Libra this bad. But they they do. It happened. And now the both of you are mutually afraid of being hurt. You're afraid of this person hurting you because they're not really giving you much, much of anything. And they're afraid of being hurt because they've been hurt in the past and now they're sabotaging. Hmm. Oh, hold on you guys let me type something out what is the mutual energy i mean no i already did the mutual energy wrong deck wrong deck what is the mutual energy between them Twin flame. This could be a twin flame connection. It sort of sounds like it. That that chaser and runner type of energy. It could be twin flame. This is definitely a, a soulmate type of connection. Even if this isn't the person that you spend the rest of your life with, it's definitely some type of soul tie here. Yeah, and then we even have bound. What I say? We even have bound. Ciao. For some of y'all, this is your literal twin flame. This is your literal twin flame. It's so much love and passion here. Like, do you see that twin flame card? That flame that flame around y'all so much love so much love here it truly is but y'all are holding back y'all need to surrender to one another hmm. my libra's love interest my libra's the love interest what is your energy towards my libra's and the love connection they share What is their energy? Ooh. They're going to give you more effort. They're going to give you more attention. They have you on a pedestal. That's my thing. You don't even know it, but they have you on a pedestal. You are like the best thing that has ever happened to them. We have the magician that Aries energy. But you're like the best thing that has ever happened to them. And I see they are getting into the mindset of, I have to show my Libra love. I have to give more to my Libra. I have to show them more love, more attention, more energy. I have to, I have to, I have to. Mm -hmm. They're finally going to reciprocate what you've been giving. And honestly, this has been a message for the collective. Like, I realized that for the past few videos that I've done, it's been the same energy. Someone self-sabotaging and then realizing this person is the best thing that has happened to me. And I have to reciprocate what they're giving me because I don't want to lose them. That's literally what's happening here. That is literally what's happening here. They don't want to lose you. They're going to put you on a pedestal. I feel like this person, they may not express their feelings to you. They may not express how much you mean to them, right? But the people around them know. Their friends, their family knows how madly in love they are with you. It's just you don't. You're in the damn dark. But the people around them, they're not. Mm-mm. They know you you got this person's heart, but you don't even know that. That's the crazy part. What else is this person's energy towards my Libras? See, they're afraid of the past repeating. We have crossroads and nostalgia. They're afraid of the past repeating. They gave their heart to somebody who flushed it down the motherfucking toilet. They gave their heart to somebody that crushed that motherfucker on the, on the ground. And now they're indecisive like, damn, can I really trust my Libra or not? I don't know if I could trust them. I don't know if I should trust them. Like now they're just all over the place. When in all reality, they want to be with you. They're just afraid of being hurt. Mm -hmm. 
What is the future slash outcome of this connection? See, they coming out their show. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, but Hermit in reverse, they coming out their show. The future slash outcome, they're coming out their show. And I'm telling you, Ace of Cups, they are going to express their love for you. They're going to show it. They're going to let it all out. I want to say the the um initial M, J, I, T, L, X even is significant. I don't know. But um I want to say within the next two months, you can expect this person to be so much more lovey-dovey. And I feel like that's going to throw you off. Because you're not really used to that from this person. I feel like it's going to throw you off like, oh, did they cheat? Did they do something wrong and that's why they're acting like this? No, they just want to finally show you love. <laughs> they just want to finally reciprocate the energy you've been giving them. Queen of Wands, you love the fuck out of them. And they love the fuck out of you. But the difference is, you show that love and passion. They don't. And it's finally, they're finally going to give that Queen of Wands energy. They're going to give you that, that passion. You are about to be overflown with passion with love even with this ace of cups you can see in this card how the water is just flowing out of the cup you are about to be overflowed your cup is going to be overflowed with love a, pa a passion attention from this person like they are finally going to give into this connection i love this so much for you i love this so much balance in the scales libra card balance in the scales i'm telling you it's going to be a balance you guys are finally going to mutually show the love you have for one another it's not going to be one-sided it's not going to be unrequited anymore they're going to show it it's just they haven't because literally the card abandoned came out they're afraid of being abandoned they're afraid of giving you their heart this is literally a, a flower right here this flower is representing their heart they're literally afraid of them giving you their heart and you just leave it you just leave them you just leave it i feel like this person is so used to people leaving them in their life but it's now come a point, divine timing has now come a point where they, they're feeling safe with you. They're feeling safe with you. They're feeling like they can be vulnerable with you. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Now I'm going to go in with some advice for you guys. This could be advice regarding this connection or advice about something in your life in general. As always, take a resonance and leave what doesn't. But I'm going to get some advice for you guys. Okay, so the name Bethany could be significant. It states, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. I love this because it's Saturday and a uh, self-care Saturday. Why not? When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or a pedicure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. That's exactly what y'all need to do, even if it isn't today. Do that sometime this weekend. Do that Sunday. Do that before the week starts. Do that before you got to go back to work and all that good stuff. Make it happen for yourself. But this is the end of the reading, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box. I have a bunch of different services on there from readings to candle services, protection, cleanses, money, all that good stuff. Use code SPELL at checkout for 20% off candle workings as well. So Leo for readings and SPELL for candle workings and any products really. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Have a great day. Great night. Bye.